lest somebody accuses me of being a Microsoft fantard or a Nintendo fantard or just a fanboy of one or all of the other systems in general. Business analyst, uh, what's his name in full, you ought to excuse me, Michael Pratcher has come out against Nintendo saying that he does not believe that they are any more of a good uh, business. They are not a money-making business anymore. And if anything, he actually places the blame at Iwata's feet. And I say he's partially correct. What I don't like is that Pratchett does not lay any of the blame at Nintendo of America's Reggie fils which I think, to be honest with you, he doesn't have the most of the blame, but he has some blame. See, because at least in the case of Iwata, he's willing to be humble. He has actually apologized for the Wii U launch, which was an unmitigated disaster. And you, you guys are like, oh, herp -a -derp, those reports were all blown out of proportion. Yeah, well, you can blow it out your backside because Iwata has all but, no, Iwata has basically copped to it and apologized to it. So you can stop pretending it never happened. But I, and that'll be part of what I, I want to bring up about this, because th this is where Pratchett's words actually have some sort of meaning. This isn't just some business analyst looking at the numbers going, I hate Nintendo, so I'm going to find a way to make that work. No, from a consumer standpoint and a hardware standpoint, which again, I will get into, they're not doing good. It's like they suddenly just all went stupid on us for no apparent reason. But let me finish with Reggie. Reggie just bugs the hell out of me. He makes me so angry and upset. He's done, lately, he's, he's just kind of lost it. He's gone into, at least when he was being more public. Now, I haven't heard hide nor hair from him, not that I've been looking for him, but frankly, I haven't heard him doing much since his, his disastrous recent events where he's done everything, including blaming consumer ignorance for sales figures of the Wii U, to doing things like saying that it was reviewer ignorance or ineptitude that led to poor hardware ratings for the Wii U. To which I say, meanwhile, Iwata is at least willing to say, you know, we recognize that this event happened. It was regrettable. We're sorry. And I at least respect that much out of it. But yes, Nintendo has absolutely gone full retard. I'm sorry, but it needs to be said. Look at the 3DS. I bought one as an early adapter day one. I was excited. I was lucky enough to be able to handle the 3D, and that appealed to me. It still does, for the most part, appeal to me, although the, the wonderment of it does fade away after a while. And now it's kind of like, whether I'm doing the 3D or not, I don't see as much of a difference as I've seen in the past. But I do like that it's there. I like that I have a 3D camera now. I, I've actually taken to trying to learn 3D photography, but you know, I'm the point is, you notice I'm not talking much about games now, am I? But the, the bigger point actually is just that the launch was a disaster. Features weren't ready. Things weren't working properly. Uh, they had a handful of, of, of launch titles that were just mostly meh. Although Dead or Alive, uh, you know, 3DS was actually really good. I liked that game a lot, and not just for perverted reasons. Hey, you want me to be dishonest? But it was a solid, solid fighting game, as was Street Fighter IV uh, for the 3DS. But it just wasn't enough. And so you would think, you would think after all the apologies, after all of the care packages for the early adapters and everything that Nintendo did to say, we're sorry and we're going to make it better. Although, to be honest with you, I don't feel they made up for that, but I digress. After all that, you would think they would have learned something. Enter the Wii U. Where do I even frickin' begin? The hardware is pushed out. 
there's a disastrous first launch which was not all consumer related issues, thus Iwata's apology. There was such demand on the servers, this sounds like SimCity's launch, features weren't ready, again, again? Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me, or, yeah, fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, shame on you. To a degree. But, <sighs> and so, they release two versions, and I get it, I get it. Consumer convenience, consumer ability, but then you've, you've already had videos up for, for weeks, months before the launch of the system. Your own website talked about how the storage capacity of the basic unit, and then you tell us the price of Nintendo Land on its own for a physical copy. And when you do the math, you're going to spend as much to buy the basic unit as you are the deluxe model. Why the hell would I even think of buying the basic model? Especially if I have a lot of virtual console purchases. Especially if I have a lot of things that have large storage needs that your system at 8 gigs cannot freaking handle after the operating system has been installed. Then you have a slow... It's not terribly slow, but I can vouch for it because, again, I bought one. A very slow, you know, operating system. You don't have features in place. Certain things just don't quite work right. Not, not to mention the whole thing with the mandatory install of the, the system uh, firmware and just... Yeah. Then you go and you make a hundred and what you're now calling, it was going to be, if you did the math, at least in terms of Europe, a $175 controller that you're now saying, at least in America, is only going to be $150. Oh, only $150? What a steal. I'm not saying I hate this thing, but at the same time I'm going, this is half the cost of this ridiculous system that you're selling at a loss as it is. And it's such a stripped-down system even with that. Yeah, it's got some nice specs under the hood, but once you fill her up, you need two forms of external storage because no one form of storage can handle both save data and game data. That's lazy. That's absolutely mind-numbingly lazy. That's like... Microsoft doing the after, uh, after, you know, specs stuffing of their system that cut off major airways and ended up choking off uh, the air to the system and causing red rings of death in their launch system. You didn't even bother to learn the lesson that Microsoft had to learn the hard way. You pushed this hardware out absolutely before it was ready. And then you have the audacity to start blaming the customers and blaming the reviewers for being honest? This is not good business practices. This is not the Nintendo I grew up with. This is not the smart and savvy game makers. And then you got Miyamoto, of all people, saying that he believes in the future of the Wii U. Really, Miyamoto? Look, I try to give you the benefit of the doubt, even though I hate the fact that people have dubbed you the father of modern gaming, even though they've done nothing to substantiate nor support that claim. I've literally asked the Internet, why is he called us this? And I haven't, I've either not gotten a straight answer or I've gotten no answers at all. And I'm honestly trying to give the man the benefit of the doubt. But then when he pulls stuff like this and, and people are like, oh, Miyamoto, you can't retire. The gaming, cons uh, you know, if you retire, as far as the gaming industry goes, consequences will never be the same. How? The man is backing a losing horse, and this isn't just the first one that he has backed. And he's considered to be this, this irreplaceable genius? He makes nice games. I will absolutely give you that. But that doesn't give him a free pass when he goes and absolutely makes an idiot of himself trying to support something that I'm sorry. This system has so many issues with it. And it does some of what I bought it for, and yay for that. But, I mean, 
there's so many more issues that I haven't even covered on here that I've been having with the system and the fact that the, 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 the system itself, compared to the other two systems that I own that came out before it, can't even charge the controller a system. How do you mess that up? How do you do that? But Nintendo found a way. And it seems, like I said, that they are copying the business models of the other two consoles for reasons that boggle my mind. Ooh, it's better graphics. Well, that's great if it's better graphics than the Wii. Does that mean there's going to be better games? My Wii collected a heck of a lot of dust after a while because the games, just good games, really dried up and the motion control mechanic didn't really last that long on me. It was fun at times. Certain games absolutely need it, but it's like HD movie formats. You don't need those for everything. I don't need an Adam Sandler gross-out comedy in HD, and I certainly don't need it in 3D, but I digress. So, no, I'm sorry. Pratchett's right in many ways. Maybe not entirely for what he, why he says so, link down in the underbar, but he's absolutely right. These people are running this company very, very incompetently, and us consumers are paying for their mistakes. We've got to walk away from this, this nostalgic BS and realize when they've gone too far. Because they have. Oh, and as a side note, uh, they're working on Pikmin animated shorts. I wouldn't be mentioning this except for they're putting those shorts on the 3DS only. So let me get this short, let me get this straight, Miyamoto. You canceled the Pikmin uh, 3DS title, which was a big part of why I actually bought your system. And then you have the balls, the balls, to create an animated series and put it on the very system that you disappointed fans with by canceling the very title for that very system. There are no words. There is absolutely no words, except maybe... <coughs> And I'm out, folks. I'm out.